Hello friends, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very powerful video of hexic challenging equations, we are going to solve one interesting hexic equation x power 6 minus x power 4 plus x square minus 1 equal to 0. I will demonstrate three methods of solving this problem. We will take use of complex numbers also. So let's get started. Let me write number 1 approach. So I will consider from first two term as you can see we can take up x power 4 common. So once I will take x power 4 common it would be left with x square minus 1 plus x square minus 1 equal to 0. Okay. Now it is visible that x square minus 1 is common again. So what would be left in the bracket x power 4 plus 1 equal to 0. Now one thing is very clear. Once you will put x square minus 1 equal to 0, then you will get x is equal to plus minus 1. So we have to find out 6 solutions. Out of 6, we have find it out actually x equal to plus minus 1. Now let's find out the solution of this equation. So there are two approaches possible to find out solution of this equation. Either I can think about algebraic identity. So I will write this equation as x square plus 1 whole square and see what is extra here x power 4 plus 1 plus 2x square. So to compensate that 2x square I have to do minus 2x square. Okay. Now I can write the difference of a square form. So I will write x square plus 1 whole square minus root 2x whole square. This is one aspect or one approach. Second approach you can think about complex number. x power 4 is equal to negative 1 and negative 1 we can think about e raised to the power i pi modulus is 1 so e raised to the power i pi cos pi plus i sin pi cos pi is minus 1 sin pi is 0. This is equal to x power 4. So x is equal to e raised to the power i pi whole power 1 over 4. Fourth root of negative 1 you can say. Okay. If I want to do it generalize then I can write e raised to the power i. In place of pi I will write pi plus 2k pi over 4 or x is equal to e raised to the power i pi over 4 in bracket 2k plus 1 or 1 plus 2k where k is integer is starting from 0 1 2 dot 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 here fourth root we are finding so we will restrict up to 3 k equal to 0 1 2 3 okay now come here this equation a square minus b square. So I will write x square plus root 2x plus 1 in one bracket. In second bracket I will write x square minus root 2x plus 1. Okay, equal to 0 it is obviously. Now two quadratic equations. So if I will solve this one then I will get minus b so minus root 2 plus minus a square root b square so 2 minus 4 ac so 4 over 2a 2. This equation I will write plus root 2 minus b so minus of minus plus plus minus I will write under the root b square so 2 minus 4 over 2. This will give us minus root 2 plus minus this is minus 2 so I can write i root 2 over 2 and this I will write root 2 plus same way I will write i root 2 over 2. So overall I am getting 4 roots from this equation. Let me divide both sides or denominator you can consider it is root 2 times root 2. So it will give us minus 1 plus minus i over root 2 
from the first one and from the second one 1 plus minus i over root 2. All right. So two solution we have already calculated. They are plus minus 1 and see there are 4. Minus 1 plus minus i over root 2. It is two solution. 1 plus minus i over root 2 again 2. So total 6 solution. Now we will solve this approach. e raised to the power i pi value. So let me find out all the four values. I will consider x equal to 0. Let me write that equation first. So I will write e raised to the power i pi over 4 in bracket it was 2k plus 1 where k 0, 1, 2 and 3. So let me find x0. You can understand using unit circle also. This is x0. This will be x1. This will be x2. This will be x3. Let me find x0. By putting k equal to 0, e raised to the power i pi over 4 x1 e raised to the power i put there 3 pi over 4 k equal to 1 by putting k equal to 2 e raised to the power i 5 pi over 4 by putting k equal to 3 e raised to the power i 7 pi over 4 now you can easily see x0 is in first quadrant this is your x0 Argument you can find out real and imaginary part. Now let me write the value cos pi by 4 plus i sin pi by 4. So both values in the first quadrant is positive. I can simply write 1 plus i over root 2. Second value x1. It is in second quadrant. Sin and cosec is positive, rest is negative. So cos is negative. I will write minus 1 plus i over root 2. Or you can put the value using calculator or you know the values. Now x2. Third quadrant, tan and cot is positive only, rest is negative. So I will be having minus 1 minus i over root 2. In fourth quadrant, you can see cos and sec is only positive. So I can write which one is positive? Cos is positive. So I will write 1 minus i over root 2. There are four complex values. Now you can find out using coordinate system also. See in first quadrant, you will get both positive. Here I will write 1 over root 2, comma 1 over root 2. In second quadrant, you will have minus of 1 over root 2 because second quadrant it is 1 over root 2. In third quadrant, both values you will have negative. You can check. And in fourth quadrant, your x would be positive and y would be all obviously negative. This is another approach. You can find out remaining solution. Now, second approach to the original problem. I am going to demonstrate how substitution you can apply. Let me put x square is equal to y. Okay. So, equation will convert it into y cube minus y square plus y minus 1 equal to 0. Now I can take y square common again y minus 1 plus y minus 1. Let me take y minus 1 completely out y square plus 1 equal to 0. From first equation I will write y is equal to 1 y minus 1 equal to 0 that means y equal to 1. From this equation y square plus 1 equal to 0 or y square is equal to minus 1. Because we know that i is equal to square root of negative 1. Take a square both sides it will come out minus 1. So in place of minus 1 shall I write i square. So y value would be plus minus i. 
okay so i will write this equation in two forms actually y equal to plus i let me write here plus i and y equal to minus i everything will be same now remember what is y y is x square so in other words these equation will give you x is equal to or let me write x square is equal to i and x square is equal to minus i what i did in place of y i substituted x square okay now next step would be let me write x square equal to i let me write here x square is equal to i and x square is equal to minus i see i can write x square is equal to e raised to the power i pi by 2 take a square root both sides so it will give us plus minus e raised to the power i pi over 4 so this way we will be having two complex solutions 1 over root 2 plus i over root 2 or in other words plus minus 1 plus i over root 2 done now from this equation we can write see i can see minus 1 as i square so i can write this is i square times i so it is i cube so x square is equal to in place of i i am writing again e raised to the power i pi over 2 whole power 3 cube so x square is equal to e raised to the power i 3 pi over 2 taking a square root both sides i will be having plus minus e raised to the power i 3 pi over 4 now only need to put the value plus minus sign will give you two solution a pair of solution what is that value minus 1 over root 2 cos will be negative sign will be positive i over root 2 once you open you will get plus minus and minus plus sign so if you want to write separately you can write like this way minus 1 plus i over root 2 and just hold so this way we can collect the remaining two complex rules once you open the bracket you will get so this is how complex number and algebra if you will club you will get more ways now my question is if you can solve this problem using trigonometry yes it is possible using trigonometry by substitution so do let me know if you know what would be the correct substitution if i am solving this algebraic equation using trigonometry i hope you like this video that video was meaningful to you and do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck